Hey, this is JT with RMUS. I'm here in our new innovations lab with Bruce from Leica Geosystems. Uh, we're going to talk today about the ARC BLK for Spot. So, Bruce, what we have here are actually two different versions of this. We have the Spot with the arm mm -hmm. and the uh, system mounted on the rear. And then, uh, actually, the more preferable version here where you have it in the, the front, uh, the core, and then the uh, GNS puck on the back. So, right. Bruce, tell us a little bit about these. Absolutely. Thanks, JT. Um, so with these two units, uh, the BLK ARC, uh, which stands for uh, acronym for Autonomous Reality Capture, um, it can be agnostic to pretty much any robotic uh, platform, but here today we're uh, focusing on the spot systems. Like JT said, one without an arm, one with an arm, in different case, different applications require the arm. Uh, in this case, we have the ARC mounted on the front. These are support brackets in case um, to protect the actual sensor, the, the 3D laser scanner and we have a rollover bar, protection bar, because spot can fall on certain times. Um, and like you mentioned, this is a Boston Dynamics CPU in the back. And we have our new GNSS, it's called a GAO3, which is a, um, a GPS antenna. And currently we're getting L1, L2 accuracy, but um, we will be releasing RTK very soon, uh, which is fantastic for outdoor applications. Um, it'll pull in satellites, um, actually register that data to that coordinate geometry and has some other features that are coming down the pipe with it as well. Um, real brief, uh, an overview, this uh, laser scanner, both of them are scanning at 420,000 points a second. They scan at 360 degree horizontal by 270 degree field of view vertical, which is pretty much everything but the dog that you see. It has a range of 25 meter radius. So if you can kind of picture a 50 meter dome of data that it's capturing, um, many different uh, applications from mining to building construction, where the GCs use this to, for uh, progress monitoring, uh, things to do uh, clash detection against their BIM and plan model, what's in place, what is wrong. Uh, we do it in the uh, industrial, where you get the digital twin in the large plants and facilities. Law enforcement, public safety, send it in, send it out, so you don't have to put the boots on the ground. Number one, safety is... Uh, is the biggest uh, priority with these to set it in, capture data. Uh, we also have a um, uh, different uh, application downstream workflow because once you collect the data, after that there's many different downstream deliverables that you can go. So and for instance, you can use the data in a CAD drawing to do uh, clash detection. You can do it for uh, real feel fly through videos. Uh, if it's accident scene reconstruction, you can pull it into a forensics uh, application that we have as well for that. Um, different applications. The one here with the arm, uh, it's actually on the back. We have different mounts coming up that'll actually stand over. Because Boston Dynamics, as we're showcasing here, they have a new CPU or called a Core, Core IO, that actually has a new uh, 5G antenna on it. So this will sit up a little higher, um, but perfect for different applications. Um, fantastic up and down stairways, the rough, rugged terrain in mining, tunnels. As you can see, it's a little beat up, uh, but does very well. So, okay, so what, we're showcasing here is really um, the opportunity for creating uh, digital twins, right? Um, the, the technology behind this has the cameras on the front here with the LiDAR scanner, so you're quickly able to create a colorized point cloud. What we really like is the, the ease of use of this. And we were able to make the scans within maybe 15, 20 minutes do the processing and share that data within an hour. Also, the applications we're seeing with the new GNSS puck on the back and some of the RTK, this is gonna open up the opportunity for a lot more of the outdoor use. Um, generally, SLAM LiDAR has been used indoors um, and there's some technical things we won't get into, but being able to use the GNS data off of that is gonna open up a realm of opportunities. So what we see are potential, like Bruce mentioned, volumetrics, inventory management, but also being able to use these dogs to run autonomously at different times of the day when maybe a, a job site isn't very busy to do the, the monitoring or at a facility where they it can be doing inventory. So lots of different applications uh, are, that are, we haven't even thought of yet. But just think of this very simply as it's creating a digital model of the real world. And then from that, there's you know, a multitude of applications. One of the really cool things we like also is the SDK and API that's available with this. Absolutely. So with that, um, with, the, with the BLK Arc, you would get our API. Because there might be certain companies that have different robotic systems or different platforms they want to mount it with. Well, with that, they would actually receive our API to help integrate that in. Or maybe it's a different user interface. They, they can uh, do the different calls and the uh, 
um, the actual operations of the scanner itself and the robotic system. So very tailorable across the board um, with this. We also uh, have just released uh, with our HXDR platform, which is a cloud platform uh, with it's called Reality Cloud Studio. And with that, we can actually, this is where the autonomous comes off, where if it's run remote off a site, either it's running different time and schedule planning missions, uh, which is a library of different walks, or it's actually run operated remotely. When it goes back to its docking station, either system, that data can actually be sent and you can have a pre-path where it's sent up to your uh, Reality Cloud Studio account. And we could all have different numbers on this account. And that way it gets a chance for all the shareholders, the people that have to put eyes on the data immediately. You can view the data in a point cloud, it'll instantly mesh. It removes the noise automatically. It'll register other data sets together. There's a lot of deviation progress reporting that comes out of this um, all through the cloud. It's a great way to get the data from the field quickly to the stakeholders to make that decision and back out again remotely. Um, of course, if we're on site, right near the units themselves, we can extract the data through Wi-Fi or through the USB-C cable on these ARC units themselves. Um, but we also have, there's many downstream data. So once the user takes that data, they can bring it into modeling software. If they're in a plant, they want to model flanges and pipes, different equipment. They can model uh, the new clash against the BIM for a building construction like the large GCs do. Mining, they do volume counts. They'll do pre-blast, post-blast, and you can instantly tell how much has been taken out. Um, there's different situations, public safety. Um, it'll actually, with the imagery, because there's three camera around, cameras around the system that help with the slam, but also use, they're taking a spherical image every second. Those can actually pick up tire marks, blood splatter, you know, things for different in the public safety and forensics uh, realm of applications. So there's a lot of different uses. <laughs> yeah. The whole idea is you can just quickly capture something safely, number one, and then take it and then downstream from there, you can take it in many different avenues. So there is going to be a lot more to come on this. <laughs> we, we, I know we said a mouthful here, but yeah. um, what we're really excited about is that the technology itself is very simple to capture the data. What you do with the data is where we can come in and help we're happy to set up any sort of virtual demos to get you interested and come on site if we need to. So uh, a lot more to come on this. Thank you very much, Bruce, for being more here. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. And we'll, uh, we'll have more to share. Awesome. Thanks.